So it occurred to us, and Steve Ross agreed with this idea that maybe this building could have more of a stone character to it. Uh, what we thought would be uh, interesting is to take that floor to ceiling glass in the offices for a, a band and then horizontally a band of stone. So you get these stripes of stone going vertically, not horizontally, so you accentuate the marker character of it and then uh, go to an idea that of the great pleated dress, which takes up these, in this case, sensuous curves with a fold to be able to take the difference. So rather than just having stone and then glass, is to allow this facade be pleated. So that idea of having a building react to the observer, a person walking down the park, this building will change as you move around it. So it becomes very active in a very simple way that is based upon the opportunities that this corner gives. And you can see that at this one location, that stripe goes all the way down to the grade. Otherwise, it steps to express its uh, movement and the different uses that are on each piece. And so I think that this and uh, the other buildings, of course, would make a strong iconic presence with uh, great angular forms, the twists of the buildings, very different from the others. So this is still a very tall and, in this case, a very slender piece, which I think, again, is appropriate for this baton that sits out here, this, this marker about which this space turns. It becomes vertical in its characteristics and moves around it. At the end of the day, I don't want anybody to say, gee whiz, he must have had a tough time doing that. They should have no idea it looks fluid, simple, logical, and exactly what it should be.